Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Today we are going to talk about those stock brokers that have subscription plans for you with unlimited tradings for a month, for a year, without any brokerage. Interesting, right? Let's get started. So before we talk about these stock brokers and the trading plans they have to offer, let's try to understand what exactly is an unlimited trading plan. For example, let's say you went to a restaurant, there are two ways you can pay for the dishes you eat. Either you can pick up few dishes of your preference and you can order them and then finally you pay for those dishes once that you have ordered or you can buy a buffet where you can eat at an unlimited level giving a flat rate fees there is no cap on the kind of dishes you eat within the buffet or the amount of dishes you eat. This is almost similar to the kind of unlimited trading plans we are here talking. In India, there are different types of stock brokers. There are full service stock brokers, bank based stock brokers that will charge you a specific percentage of your trade value. So there is a high dependency on the kind of trade value or capital you are putting into the market. Then there are discount brokers who will charge you a flat rate across different segments of your trading and then there are unlimited trading plans. Now how are these unlimited trading plans possible in the first place? It has no connection with either the trade value which basically is happening in the case of full service stock brokers or the number of trades. The number of the number of trades you place either with a full service or a discount broker will have a multiplying factor. If you are trading with a discount broker and you're placing 10 trades at 200, 220 rupees per trade, then you're paying 200 rupees as brokerage. If those number of trades are at, let's say 50, then that overall brokerage comes down to 1000 rupees. So again, there is a multiplying factor either with the kind of trade value you're putting in or the kind of trades you are putting on the stock market. Unlimited trading does not have any connection with either of these factors. That mean you should directly go ahead and opt these unlimited trading plans? Well, it really depends. If you're an active trader who executes trades on a frequent basis, the number of trades are high, then yes, you can go ahead. If you are a medium to high scale trader, when it comes to the overall volume or the scale of the trades, then yes, you can go ahead. Or if you're paying pretty much high brokerage to a full service or a bank based stock broker and you're dealing majorly on intraday level, then yes, again, unlimited trading plans are good for you. You will have to do some maths, some calculations at your end to see how much brokerage you are already giving up to your stock broker and based on that you have to see the consistent trend and based on this trend you can finally take a decision that yes this trading plan or this particular stock broker is suitable to you as far as brokerage factor is concerned. However, we at the same time recommend you that you should look at other aspects as well things like trading platforms customer service, exposure and multiple other factors as per your preferences and then take a final call. However, if you're a beginner or a starter, then we would advise to stay back for a while, see how much brokerage you're generating for a particular stock broker, test the waters and then take a final call. You don't have to jump into unlimited trading plan just because they're offering you something. Just wait for a bit. At the same time, analyze different stock brokers as well. Unlimited trading plans like other provisions or USPs is a USP offered by different stock brokers. Now let's talk about this list. First of all, in this list, we are going to talk about TradeSmart Online. This is a Mumbai based stock broker and is one of those stock brokers that has pivoted towards discount broking, looking at the trend of the industry. They will charge you 200 rupees each for the DMAT and trading account. And as far as the unlimited trading plans are concerned, for equity trades, you need to pay 4,000 rupees per month. For currency, the value is 2,000. Again, for commodity, you need to pay 4,000 rupees per month to do unlimited trades. There are other brokerage plans by TradeSmart Online as well, which is 15 rupees per executed order. In case you don't want to go ahead with the monthly unlimited trading plan, you can pick that particular sort of a plan. Otherwise, you can also pay 0.07% for delivery and 0.007% for intraday trades if you want to pick out a percentage level plan. There are some concerns again, you can't really do any portfolio management services from TradeSmart Online, they don't offer that. 
again you can't really invest in ipos or mutual funds if you are a client of trade smart online so you do have to take care of these concerns while picking out a stock broker looking at the kind of plans they are offering you next name on the list is trade plus online it's one of the discount brokers that has seen a lot of pivots and finally they have settled as a discount broking firm in the year 2014 if you are looking to open a demat account with them they won't charge you anything it's free the trading account is placed at 199 rupees as a one time cost as far as brokerage plans are concerned for equity delivery and intraday they don't really have a plan for equity futures you need to pay 799 rupees for unlimited trading and every other plan for options equity and currency futures and options and commodity it's placed at 99 rupees per month for unlimited trading so the plans are a little peculiar depending on the kind of segment you are looking to trade the values differ so you can pick out the kind of segments you are looking to trade and finally make a choice the concerns with trade place online are around the trade and call facility so if in case you are using the trade and call facility it's quite average in terms of speed and the overall uh, experience the trading platforms are also average in nature so if you are looking to trade through the different trading platforms as well you might not have a good time uh, doing that so the next name in the list is sas online it currently really serves around 10000 clients across 700 cities of india so as far as the coverage is concerned they have pretty much uh, in place they started in the year 2013 to open an account with them at dmat and trading level you need to pay 200 rupees each and as far as uh, the subscription plans are concerned you need to pay 999 rupees for commodity and equity segments and uh, 499 rupees for currency the other plans are also in place at per order level you can pick those as, as well in case uh, you prefer to do that definitely there are few concerns with sas online in some of the videos that we covered that include sas online we have mentioned this point explicitly that uh, they offer one of the worst mobile trading apps in india so in case you're looking to trade through sas online do not trade through the mobile app you won't really have good experience doing that the transaction charges are also high and uh, you don't really have a provision to invest in ipos fixed deposits or mutual funds if you are a client of sas online so there are few concerns but at the same time they offer multiple subscription level plans to the clients next name in the list is my value trade um, it's one of the lowest brokerage uh, stock brokers in india so in the case don't you don't go with the subscription plan uh, the general brokerage rate is at 10 rupees per executed order to open an account with them demat account is charged at 555 rupees and trading account is for free um, as far as they are talking about different subscription plans are concerned you can give them 1000 rupees as a fixed brokerage or a subscription price for one month and you can trade at unlimited level across all the segments there is no different rate for different sort of segments here across all trading products you need to pay 1000 rupees and you can go at with the trading for the whole month in case you can commit for a longer duration you can uh, what you can do is you can pay 10000 rupees for one year and you can trade unlimited level for that amount however if you just go at in pay 1000 rupees every month you will be ending up paying 12000 rupees in case you're going ahead with a yearly plan you are saving yourself 2000 rupees as well there are few concerns with my value trade again you can't really invest in ipos if you're using their services and their trading platforms are also average in performance uh, within stock broking space next up and the final name in the list is f6 online it's a recently established one and uh, it's been around a couple of years that they have seen their uh, uh, launch the demat and trading account are free you don't need to pay anything uh, to open an account with them and uh, the plans are also pretty much flat uh, you need to pay 666 rupees per month or you can go ahead with 6666 every year if you want to trade across any of the segments it applies um, across each segment so in case you're going ahead with three set products here you need to pay 666 for each sort of a segment it's not uh, across all the segments like it was for my when you trade there are concerns in uh, this particular stock broker as well like others you can't really invest in ipos or mutual funds here the customer service is one of the biggest concerns uh, in forms of the different services they provide so that aspect will be a questionable one in case you go ahead and open account with f6 online like we mentioned there are other stock brokers as well that provide you unlimited trading plans there is alice blue online dpl online there is pro stocks wisdom capital zero shulk rk global but 
um, out of these 10 11 stock brokers we have listed the ones that are relatively better in the terms of performance and the overall experience they provide to the clients so if you want to pick either of these stock brokers it's your choice you can go ahead and do that at the same time in case you're looking to read the whole article by yourself you can check out our website rdshablogger.com we will be putting up this link in the video description the whole uh, video that we have talked about all of that and the details of it are mentioned in this particular article you can browse through this particular link and uh, check it out for yourself and if any of these stock brokers or if there is anything else that excites you and you want to open an account what you can do is check out this link rdshablogger.com slash free callback broker choice Put in your preferences there, put in your details there and we will set up callbacks as per your preferences. So this is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. We'll really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel, our digital blogger for similar videos in the future. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Bye-bye.